Welcome everyone. This is the Predator WPA World 8-Ball Men's Championship. $250,000 prize fund, $75,000 for the winner. 96 player invitational. We are at the Sports Park in Klagenfurt, Austria. This is George Teich and Daryl Peach bringing you the live action. Daryl, we have Shane Van Boney and Chia Chen Shay. What do you think? Yeah, it's hard to call this. Um, Obviously, Shane needs no introduction. Uh, won virtually everything. Probably this is the only tournament he's not won. Is it? This is. Maybe. He's never won this match right here. This tournament here. Nothing. It's a world championship. He only has one under his belt. Uh, and Shane lost his opening match to uh, Chang Jung Lee. Chang Ju Lee. And then he defeated Sina Valiza Death 8-0 come back after an 8-6 loss. And uh, Chia Chen Se, 30-year-old from Chinese Taipei, 779 Fargo, uh, defeated Michael Yednik, but lost to Victor Selinski, and then defeated Vic Nan Vandenberg to send Vic Nick home. Well, so they both, both had tough draws as well. Uh, they, so. they played some players. Uh, Chia Chen, as a fifth in U.S., he was fifth in the U.S. Open nine ball championships. He had he's played in the 2022 Alpha Las Vegas Open, Whirlpool champion, a Michigan Open, and now here he is finds himself taking over from Shane's dry break. In the opening game to this match, yeah, and he's. His hand's forced there. It looks like he's got to take stripes because there's no no shot on the solids. This is the second round of the one lost side. So he's looking at the problem ball being the Orange 13 that's close to the one ball. I'll be wanting to do something probably off this shot. Maybe just nudge. No. Well, he put that 10 ball in play by moving it out from behind the deuce. Now yeah. he's got another problem ball with a 13. 13 does look as if it goes into both side pockets, so. And what's he available? He's leaning over the eight, isn't he? The loser here goes home. The, the winner must win one more match after this, which will be the loser qualification to get into the final 32. I think he was looking to leave a, an angle on this 15, but he's finished straight. Still coming down, he's not. I think he played for the 13 in the side there. He sort of s stunned the cue ball instead of following. So, change of plan, up for the 10. Trying to come down using the side. Got to watch the side, side pocket. pocket. He fell right into it. Well, opportunity for Shane. Yeah, I just felt when he didn't get on that 13 or move the 13 early on. He was just... It was just getting harder and harder to, to get out. Shane looks like he's focused. Getting down to business here. He has ball in hand and took an extension. He's just looking the four ball, obviously doesn't go past the eight. We are on a 30 so second time clock. He may, he, yeah, he may. May, he may opt to sort of run into the two balls on the side cush. Oh, 
Oh, he's just played a container. Obviously with a 13 been the only stripe on the table. But it looks like he's tied now, tied the six up also. He'll try to kick this in. He'll be, if, even if he succeeds, he'll be lucky to come up with a shot on the eight. I went a little wide. Found another side pocket. Yeah, he likes Wasn't happy with pocket, the first yeah. one. Yeah. Now Shane has to make sure he does not give an open shot here and can address the six. Get it out in the open. The six, the four, the seven are all hindered by the eight. Is he going to play another containing safety? Just leave him on the bottom there, let him kick yeah, I again? I don't think so. I think if he yep. takes the five and then plays up for the two, leaves a nice angle to come back down. The seven and the four both go up into the same pocket where the two is. He's going to break one of them out. No, he didn't. He tried to. He won't move that five, I don't think. Because if he was to move that five ball, he'd want to go into those... Is that the five ball or the seven? The seven ball, yeah. The one by the 13. But the one ball. Well, that's the one ball. Yeah, okay, not the five. I thought it was the five. So he won't move it because he wants to find cover there each time. Yeah, he's so going to open them up. Just develop yeah, those. Oh, he just left an open pocket. It might be. It might be open. Yeah, that's a little loose. Yes, definitely it, the 13. I can definitely see it. Oh, he's oh. going to go he's gonna obviously the other way. Yeah, Apparently, he can't, he can't see enough of it. Can't see enough. And yeah, it would go by the four, but he can't hit enough ball. This is a makeable shot, but the referee will be watching it very closely. EPBF referees. He's even got his glasses on for this one. Uh, it looked like a not a good hit. It didn't matter. I think he hit the one, yes. the one ball first anyway. But this rack continues. No, yeah, he did yeah. hit the one. Yeah, just cool. Easy to see there, and look at it go by that two ball. It kind of flicked off the two. Yeah, the spin just yeah carried it right in. Well, he'll be able to. They are nice. Now he'll be able to use a one for the six and now open it up. Yeah, Shane's, Shane's got this one in the bag now. Unless he does something awfully crazy. And he's not known for that. Yeah, he, might <laughs> he might be back off taking the bag. <laughs> he's just the looking. four. Yeah, the four. He's going to take the four or the one. It doesn't really matter to Pretty much lined up. So he's not worried about getting the cue ball off the rail, is he? No, not with the eight ball there, so pretty straightforward. Run all out ball there. Files. Yeah, all ball files. He doesn't want to move that ball. And game number one goes to SVB. Quite the eight ball player. Three time US Open eight ball champ, two time runner up. Only player to win three consecutive U.S. Opens in nine ball in 2012, 13, and 14. Won again in 16 and in 07. And 
an 835 Fargo. He's ranked fifth on the Fargo list of top 100 players in the world. His opponent is a 779, just out of the top 100, about three points down. Another dry break, though. You know, that uh, that's kind of surprising because we watched Shane when he played um, uh, Chang, uh, Chang Jung Lee and when he played Sina Vadalazadeth, and he wasn't breaking the balls big, and he's known for a big break. Yeah, but well, surprised me. Break. Surprised me that he's breaking from the side. Well, as, as we were talking earlier um, in other matches, most of the guys have been breaking from the side and found success. Tyler Steyer put a seven pack. Uh, Alexka, Aleska Pechel put a six pack. Sanchez, Francisco Sanchez did about the same. Yeah, come and say it. Yeah, only did a six. Yeah. So uh, the other players are finding success, but for some reason, Shane is not. Choosing the solids. Well, if he's, ta he's taking solids, so he's got a problem with the one three, but he's got a ball, possibly two, uh, to maybe address that. The two and the five, he may use to open those up. That's a bad miss. I think the cloth's got him there, you know. S the slide on the cloth. Okay. Because when he played it with left English and the cue ball's thrown into the object ball and it's not grabbed and come back, it's just okay. slid. So just slid right by. Uh, it looked like it to me. Well, the only problem Shane has is that 13 ball that's trapped by the five. Right there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Because of that 15 ball there, he's probably going to get on this straight away now. In behind the 13 orange. I was thinking he might take this and try to move the 13. Probably just drop in behind. Oh, he's going to drop behind and just shoot it down. Okay. You can see the patches on Shane's, on Shane's shirt there. His sponsors at Q-Tech, restaurant tables, and uh, how tips. I believe he's also sponsored, or used to be sponsored, by the BCA uh, USA Pool Leagues. Off to a little bit of a late start. Yeah, I think he's going to spin this behind the five ball. Doesn't want to make contact. That's a poor shot for me. It's pretty basic. I mean, he's got a long shot on the 14, but he should have been right on it. A little bit loose there. Just about Long making shot. the ball. Make the ball, that's all he's thinking here. The, the eight's waiting. Tester, he passed that test with flying colors. And for game number two, for a two game lead over Chia Chen. Currently sponsored by Predator, playing with the P3 and the Revo shaft. Yeah, and just to note, Chia Chen has had first chance in both of those racks. And not been able to capitalize. Yeah, that one little uh, slip or skid, you kind of called it? Yeah, not like a skid, but more 
More of a slide. It's the, yeah, on the on the slick cloth, this new Predator cloth is really slick. So when the ball, when you play with spin, obviously the cue ball throws. If you play with right spin, it pushes to the left. And on normal cloth, you expect it to come top. back. But on this slick cloth, it stays out there and it's easy to catch the ball thick. Wonder how long he's been using that carbon fiber. And Shane got the cue ball kicked. Ooh, I thought it was gonna go in that corner pocket with that spin that it had. Watch this cue ball gets kicked here, kicked again, and kicked again. And I thought that was gonna just do it for him. Yeah, he made the, the head ball, the front ball in the side pocket, which is what he's trying to do. If he's breaking from the side, that's his main main target. And you expect to have a shot after that, and although he doesn't have, because of the kisses, he's got an easy shot on the one ball, but does, he's not happy with that. He's going to take this all the way down the rail. You know, one of the things about shots like that, is they look pretty going down the rail. <laughs> uh, gotta lighten things up for these guys at home <laughs> you know sometimes they eat too much popcorn they only look pretty when they go in yeah that, well that's exactly right <laughs> i don't think any shot on a pool table looks pretty staying out most players don't don't care for that too much He's not hanging about here. I'm just looking at the 15 ball, I think it is, at the side of the at the 8, right next to the 8 ball. Can't see. Yeah, it must go good. by because he's going to come around uh, for it. Yeah, he's going to use his last ball. Must go into the side yeah. then. Could you use a little more angle? Or can you get back? He, he moves the cue ball so, so he's going to play to the side. Well, it, I think he's played for it in the top. I don't think oh, it goes in the must side. Go, yeah. so. Must go by that four. Yeah, in the corner. Nice close control there. For game number three. And three it is. 3-0 lead over THNC. And a nice break and run also. We'll be wanting to build on that now. Trying to put a bit of a run together, a package, and get way out in front. Well, as our EPBF ref referee, Raxum, we are sponsored and partners for this event. Our Predator Group, Vic Fort, Billiard Sports Academy, Jasmine Ocean, Kamui Brand, and this equipment is the Predator Apex 9-foot tables, the Arena Lights, the Aero Rack, the Arco two balls and the Predator bridge. Everything Predator, the Arcadia cloth. So I'll watch the seven ball, the front ball, trying to make that in the side. And that's and it was going unusual for it, but it got kicked. Yeah, it was kind of unusual to get kicked out. Lot of clusters here, so this is by no means straightforward. Well, we've got some monsters on the one lost side now, fighting right now. Players like Jonas Suto. That's an interesting matchup against Glido. 
Got you. Mishko Fortunski. Mikal Gerard. And oh boy. Hung that one up. Look how deep it stays in the pocket. Yeah, decided to put all his eggs in one basket there and go full blooded to make the 13 and open up that stripe that was stuck in the middle of the table, but forgot to make the ball. Well, the table's open for Shane. Yeah, and now because that 13's hanging over the corner pocket there, the three and the five are both problem balls, as in the solids, so Shane really wants to be taking the stripes. They're all in this bottom half of the table also. So it looks like, you know the way he's lined up, I, I, I can see him shooting this combo first. Just didn't want to push that 10. Oh, he's gone, he's gone far enough. I thought he was going to stay near the three, so well, he's going to have to open the 11, which is right next to that six ball. Yeah, on that camera shot, it looks like it will go past the six to the upper corner or the lower one. Yeah, into, as we're looking now into the left. Oh, okay. past the six into the left corner, so. If it does, I'm gonna guess that he gets on it now. Yeah, he'll play, he'll probably play for the 11 and have the 10 as a small backup in case yeah. he just overruns it or. If he could put the cue ball smack in the middle of the table here. No, he's played for the 14. Yeah, he's, then he's going to play for the 11, I believe, in the upper upper right hand side. Went over quite a ways, but I think he has room for it. Playing this in the top corner. Beautiful shot. Right in the heart of the pocket. And what's it done here? Uh, I was going to have to go rail first on the seat. Where can you see it? That's He's amazing. disgusted. That's He's going to jump it. Yeah. I can't understand why he didn't just put some right English on and just spin the cue ball down. It's amazing. shot before that was, it was a weird one. I don't know why he mm -hmm. didn't spin it in. Come down, come yeah. down. It looked like he was exactly where he wanted to be. Yeah. And uh, then just all of a sudden looked concerned when he wasn't able to get by that ball for the eight. I wonder if he ever considered going rail first. But you know, that seemed like quite an easy jump shot. Now he's gonna frustrate, Chen's gonna frustrate Shane with shots like this, making him kick at it. You know, when you allow champions to come to the table with shots like this, sometimes they find a way. But you know, the odds of it are extremely thin, but uh, doesn't mean it's impossible. Well, he's not giving up ball in hand. No, that was no foul. No foul. The referee looking to pick the cue ball up there. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. So 
all of a sudden. This looks like a pretty straightforward run out. Balls all in the open. Nothing tied up. No traffic. Well, I, I think if you if you don't get out here and you're trailing 3-0, you're not going to be expecting to win this match. You've got to you've got to be able to produce a win from the balls like this here. connecting those dots and that's the important thing sometimes that's hard to do a lot of times at this level under the lights of those seven arena lights um, the pressure mounts and what looks easy isn't always But he's on the board. And we'll be right back. We'll go for a little commercial break and bring you the rest of the action. the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion. champions And we are back to the live action here at the Sport Arena in Klagenfurt. Beautiful Austria. Food's been excellent. The weather's been Austrian. <laughs> and something just left the table. Oh yeah, the cue ball. Really lost the cue ball there. Trying to Hit that 10 ball in the full on the nose and nearly caught it half ball. And with the power, the cue ball bounces and it's off the table. Well, Shane's given up one game. I don't know that he'll give up another. Especially when he's getting ball in hand. Yep, cue ball no behind, behind the head string because it's a foul on the break. Different leagues have different rules, folks. For some of you at home, sometimes I believe at some of the BCA, it's anywhere on the table after the break. But in WPA, it's behind the head string. Shane's been fighting that clock a little bit. He's had some some turns at the table where it's it's winding down and he gets a little concerned by it. 
which is unusual for Shane because he's in this in the arena table quite a bit with the clock. So straight away, looking at the five ball to go into that cluster of three solids. He's going to go into it right now. Well, this better go by the this three ball better go by that 11 or he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's got the four. Really has to. Only one side for the seven, which is on the left there where the four is. Probably come down for the two. Probably playing for the two in the corner. Yep. Would have liked to have gone a little further. And now you'll come up for tricky. the yeah, tricky. It's looks like you'll probably come up for the seven. Yeah, can he grab the cue ball enough to get past that side pocket? And it's just gonna be a see how he plays this, how he manages his shot through there. No, he opened up the one. Yeah, he, he couldn't shot. he couldn't get past the side pocket, so Instead, played with left spin to kick the one out. Three ball does go past the 15. The eight, I would say, appears to go past the 10. Going for the seven now. Doesn't want to be on the rail. He has to come back for the three. The eight does pass the 10, so it shouldn't present much of a problem getting to it. Yeah, would like that to go a bit. Looks like he's got enough angle just to bump the cue ball out off the rail. The center of the table. That's got to get your attention when the referee's right next to you, leaning down to make sure you're not up uh, over a ball. He's doing it again. Straight in on the eight, and he closes the rack out. Now for a three-game lead. Yeah, I was looking at some of the Lose, round two loser, uh, and looks like Abdullah Al Youssef has moved on with a win over Radislav Babika. You have Sam Henderson, one of our juniors, uh, leading Niels Fayan five to four. Mateo Zanaki over Luca Min eight to three. That was done. Stephen Holum. Leading Petri Makonen, 6'5. And Shane to break. Leading four games to one. Definitely a bit more juice on that one. Made two balls, I think. Well, Shane's happy about that because that's Good been one of his ball. problems is making some balls on the break. Yeah, I saw one go in the corner and that five ball on the side. And everything looks open and available. Wow. It really looks open and available, doesn't it? Yep. You could three. choose either. Yeah, yeah if, the, if the three goes down past the orange 15. He's spoiled for choice. And that's taking care of the top part of the table. Yeah, so he just wants to move that orange 15 ball to leave uh, a path for the red. Doesn't the red go by? It looks like it goes by. Maybe if this, no, I don't think it does. The orange has got to be moved to leave a path for the red 11. So 
So, bit of a stop shot. Twelve into the cut opposite corner. Oh, he's taken the eleven now. It goes past the six ball. Probably gets straight in on this fifteen ball. Yeah, I think he's straight on the on the twelve also, so it might may have to leave a bit of distance. Well, if he wants to be straight in on it, he can come up to it. Yeah, he, he had plenty of angle. He's left that short though, oh, he's, he's left him half uh, up a tough shot, he's gonna have to cut it. No, he's not gonna cut it in the side. That would really take some talent to hold it for the eight. We used all the pocket there. Well, Shane says, that's why it's all there. Extends his lead with a break and run to 5-1. Players, Chia Chen taking a break and looks like Shane's gonna step out of the We'll do some uh, highlights, I believe. Oh, we're gonna go with the commercial for Predator. The arena lights, here we go. Shane running out that last part of that rack. Some of his highlights here from the match so far. Nice 11 ball got on the 10. Chia Chen to run out his game to win that. And this was the last track there. Shane awaiting his opponent. His opponent put in the stall on Shane. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Slow him do you, down. Do you think he's been there before, Shane? <laughs> yeah, he has. I, I just, I, I just uh, noticed Shane looked back like and kind of smile like, ah, yeah, like I haven't had this before. Exactly. <laughs> Because in fact, uh, when Chia Chen stepped out of the arena, the referee, Shane was just going to step just outside. And the referee uh, let him know that if he steps out of the arena, it's his break too. So Shane stuck around. That way if things get tough, he can get going. <laughs> 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 and Tia Chen on his way back in. A good look at the arena here, at the sports park arena here in Klagenfurt for this World Eight Ball Championship. Shane Van Boney making the balls at five to one. There comes one. Now he, I was gonna say something funny, but I won't. What was funny to me was that he, he could play the five eight combo, but he would lose the game. <laughs> Well, he's going to play the nine and r immediately open the stripe next to the four. I think it's the 12. He's the f no, it's the 14. So 
straight away everything open now and this is where Shane is most deadly open tables are breakfast a little bit harder tables are lunch and sometimes he'll feast with a jump shot Orange, though, nice. Mm. Drop, do drop in. He will take that because he wanted this one out of the way. Probably just slide over for the the twelve. Same pocket. Maybe he come down yeah. for the. He just caught six. Now he might take the fifteen ball because he's there now for it. No, it's going to play 12 all the way. Yeah, just, 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 just flick the six on the way past there, so it's just left him a little bit straighter. Looks, does the 15 go past the three? It looks like it from our angle. does go past the eight ball just checking See now that, this is why he might have taken the 15 a little bit ago because it doesn't go by he's gonna, he has to come all the way over with the speed he's got down it tells me that it goes so yeah eight ball waiting over the side so Another one. And that, ladies and gents, is 6 1. Shane Van Bonen. Another break and run. Shane feeling a little better now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, the last couple of breaks, he has put a bit more. Bit more juice on the break, so but for me, Shane Van Bonin has always had well probably the best break from the centre of the table. I want I've ever seen anyway, well, and I can't understand why he wants to break from the side. Well, most of the times I've seen him break, well, um, let's see if we can analyze that. Most of the times I've seen him break, he's broken from the middle. Uh, yeah. He was trying the middle earlier, and not so much. And then, as you mentioned, and as uh, I think Eric uh, mentioned, uh, the players are having a lot of success breaking from the side. And so he's, you know, he says, I'm not doing well breaking from the center. They're doing well breaking from the side. You can expect that he'll go to the side also. Yeah, yeah. Players are fast to adjust to the break. Yeah, there's obviously a reason. So. Bit of work to be done here. We've got Six, the two greens there, the six and the 14 tied up. Well, he's played a four ball combo. Really pushing the boat out there. Trying to make the 15. Not sure if I like that one. 
A little bit low percentage. Now, what's tied up that would um, entice him to shoot that four ball combo? The six ball up on top. Um, the seven ball doesn't go by, but I don't know if that would have gone by before because he moved balls over to that direction. Yeah, there was a couple of balls in, in the actual combo that was tied up. So okay. he was bringing those, in, those into play. Wow, this is... Wow. Uh, that's a big miss there. I'm it sorry. Is. That's just... Not much of an excuse for missing a ball like that. think he can can he get enough spin left spin off this nine ball to just just nudge into the seven I think so I think he can get it if he wants it he can just a flick like a little flick he tried and the answer was no Only shot he has is the third. Is that the 11 ball over there? 13. 13 ball? Well, he's not going to go for. He's going to play a safe here with this ball. A little bit of a tacti tactical shot here. And he's opened up his. Ball by that pocket. It looks like the yeah, that's a nice 14 ball. Nice option there. There's no clear shot on. Covering the one ball. Can he cut the two? The two, the blue two ball past the. He's going to try to play safe. Yeah, he's doing the same. So, nice little bit of tactical play. That'll cover that up, but I believe he's got a shot on the six if he wants it. It's tight by the by the twelve, but looks like he's no, maybe not. Not from this angle, it doesn't. Well, if he can get to that one ball, he can flick the thirteen, the orange thirteen, as he makes this, and open the eleven and the seven up just like that, like that. 13 to roll, but yeah. Nice shot. Opened everything up there. And um, just depends where the five ball goes. He's going to have to move the four ball for the five ball to go by. And yeah, now he'll probably pay position on it right here, either for the side or the corner. Past the eight ball then. And to the side. Follow through, touch of right spin. Just a Flick the cue ball up. Six is waiting. The seven in the side. And because he's gone this route, I'm assuming the eight does go past the 15 into this bottom left. 
corner. Well, he's going to have to move his cue ball around a little bit. Yep, maybe a little bit of distance between the cue ball and the eight ball, you feel. Must go by the 15. There you see it. Flies past the 15. But not like that. I'm, I'm wondering how long he's been using that carbon fiber. I really am. He's missed shots that he shouldn't be missing. Yeah, and carbon fiber is a very, it's a great tool, but you have to learn to use it right. Yeah, the problem is they're unforced errors. Yes. Well, so, every one of them. And it's been a shot that uh, uh, he should make every time. Shane looking good here to one, be one game closer to closing out this match. This one puts him on the hill. One game away. And there it is. Struggled with that game, gave away some opportunities, but he was able to come back and close it out. We'll go to a short break, and we'll be right back, folks. and running with Shane breaking the balls here. Trying to keep his opponent in the chair. It looks like he's not going to. He would have loved to close that out with a break and run. He hung up two balls in the jaws of the pocket. The six, six threatened the pocket, the 13 threatened the pocket, the seven's hanging in the pocket. And so is the one up on top there in the upper right-hand corner. Eight ball's kind of tied up. So that's going to be the, that's about the only thing holding somebody from running this rack. Playing straight away to get on the two in the same pocket because of the 15 stripe. Once this disappears, the rack once again is wide open. And that five ball lays so nice to open up the eight. And it actually doesn't have to because the eight will go in the same pocket as the five and use the four, the four ball last um, for, his, for his key shot and he'll be straight in. Yeah, this is perfect. You just lay there on the rail, play the six next, and the three. I, well, if he wants to move it, that's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, I liked your idea of just leaving it, the it four was last eight in the side. It was there, waiting. Sin. Yeah, he's gonna have to move around his cue ball around a little bit now. The other, the other way, he would have left it on the rail, played the six, come up for the three, stopped the four ball to the same corner as the six. He was straight in on the eight. Yeah, as it happens, I think he could still do the same. Play yeah. for the three ball through the gap. He doesn't want to nearly <laughs> flicked it. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been okay because it would have flicked. Well, it could have flicked towards the side pocket, but he would have been okay. Yeah, he just wants to finish. Really, he wants to finish straight on this four ball. Just drop this in. He might finish that way anyway. In fact, he is going to. He's going to stop the eight there. Uh, stop it. Well, no, he's got an angle. He can't stop it there. He's got to come up and play the eight in the same corner. Closes it out and says, not so fast, Mr. Van Boning. I'm going to pad my score a bit. Yep. But at 7-2 down, you feel he really has to put two, three, four racks together here without uh, he, Shane getting out of his chair. He sure does, and he hasn't shown us that he can. Not today. But that... That can change immediately. He's the one with the power to do it. He has shown us in the past that he can play. His results of knocking on the door of really high finishes in almost every tournament. But today we've seen some several unforced errors from the young man. Yep, very uncharacteristic errors. But he's still got to try and think forward, make a ball. And change back to the table. Got a lot of movement, but no ball. Down the rail with one of those pretty shots. I think he was trying to flake that ball open. I'm not sure. I think the nine does the nine pass the thirteen. The orange I think 13, it does. Thirteen, yeah, yeah. I think it would be easier to run out the rack if that nine passed that side because he'd have all three of those balls. Uh, without moving the cue ball much at all. Did you use the phrase ticky tack? Who do you use that just recently? I was doing commentary and somebody used that. He was just kind of ticky tack his way around that. Clock winding down. That, that 30 second clock is beginning to uh, make me think that uh, 30 seconds is a little bit short for eight ball. Since yeah. there's more thinking involved, more options involved. Because this 10 ball now doesn't go past the four, he's, he's taking it early. That's why he's going this route. And things are looking pretty. Ominous, although he's finished a bit straight on this last stripe. He's got enough angle, I think, as you, he is straight. Does, well. the, does the eight go past the three into the side? Um, not sure. If it, it looks like it does. Yeah, if it does, he, I think he'll be drawing back. Well, that tells us that it didn't, so. You know, 
Shane's no stranger to these long shots. He doesn't mind them too much, but uh, a lot of players don't like this. It's a little tough. Dead center. That was dead center tough, and Shane moves on, and he's into the loser qualification, and he will face. Let me see who he faces real quick. If I can, one twenty. Can't tell. Oh yes, he does. He faces. He'll face Daniel Gutenberger. And we'll be back with more action here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Daryl Peach, it was a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much, George. Enjoyed yeah. every minute. And we're off and running. See you, f see you back soon, folks. Thanks. <laughs>